Bossing is a huge part of this game. Up to this point, I've taken on a lot of what RuneScape has to offer, and been greatly rewarded for doing so. But now it's time to kick it up a notch. This is Unlocking RuneScape, the Elite Tier. Now that I'm 95 Slayer, it's time to finish off the Elite Tier. I now have access to all of these Slayer bosses I needed to have access to, the last of which being Alchemical Hydra. Now, we were obviously working towards a lot of stuff along the way, but we have six more collection log slots to go for. So most of those are going to come from Hydra, which means I should start trying to get a task. First things first though, I have a lot of loot to sell off, and I'm probably going to sell off some of my Zolra scales and stuff as well. Since I don't really have to do Burst or Barrage Slayer anymore, I might even be able to get rid of some runes. Bossing can be kind of spooky, and with Halloween coming up, it's the perfect time to check out the sponsor of today's video, Raid, and all of their spooky Halloween champions. First up, we have Madam Saris. Pretty typical witchy character, really big uh, abilities, yep, uh, big abilities. Next up, we have the miscreated monster, obviously resembling Frankenstein's monster, but you know, with a gigantic electrical weapon. And my personal favorite Halloween champion is Harvest Jack. This guy actually looks pretty badass, and I've always loved all things Headless Horseman related, so this is just perfect. Speaking of new champions, if you're like me and like collecting things, then let me show you my favorite activity. Summoning new champions, just like opening packs or loot crates, which is always super exciting because you never know what you're going to get, and there's tons of cool champions to collect. And as you can expect with Raid, there are tons of Halloween themed events and activities going on right now, from big rewards with tournaments against other players, and even special fragment events to get some new legendary champions. So if you want an even bigger head start, download the game with my link down below, or scan the QR code on screen to get an epic hero, Chinoru, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard to summon your own awesome champion. All of these rewards will be available in your inbox for the next 30 days, and thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video. Over 100 million gold. Now that looks more impressive than it actually is because I did end up selling off the Spectral. After some careful consideration, I really don't think I'm going to be going back to Cerberus to try and finish off this tier since we're only missing just the one crystal. Whereas from other bosses like for example Abyssal Sire, we still have plenty of opportunity to fill slots in and it just makes more sense to focus on those. For now, I'm probably just going to buy back Arma, and you know what, I might as well pick up a Dragon Warhammer as well, since if we're going back to Sire, I'm going to need it. I'm probably going to have to rework my block list here, because I don't think that spiritual creatures are going to get assigned as often as Worms, for example, but I do have to actually use Konar in order to get Hydra tasks, which makes it a lot less likely that my Abyssal Demon tasks will actually be able to be done at Sire. Wow, look at that, that's a Hydra task. Ha! <laughs> You guys remember when I had 3,000 reward points? <laughs> look at this. Just, just look at that. That's it just, it just keeps going. That's, I don't even know how many skips I just used there to get a single task. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're probably going to have to resort to doing some boost slayer. Uh, although, that being said, we are just a few tasks off of getting a 300 task streak, so maybe that can be our saving grace. Let's go kill some Hydra. I think this is the setup I'm going to be going with until I get a little bit more comfortable at least. I'm actually bringing the Dragon Bone Necklace because I'm pretty sure if I wear this and then bury Hydra Bones, I get a 4 Prayer Point Renewal for each one that I bury. And that just makes more sense to me than banking the bones constantly, which would make this task take probably twice as long. And everything else is pretty straightforward, just... Alright, so uh, maybe I'm a little out of practice here. <laughs> but uh, this boss prints money. And that is fantastic, because I'm going to kind of want a lot of money moving forward into the Master Tier, so the more we get here, the better. And that first trip is already like 500k, and that was 6 kills. Should have been way more than 6 kills, but I'm very bad at the game. Gotta be a huge PB, man. It's gotta be. 143? I feel like... I mean, it's a master task, so it's probably a decent speed. Ooh, that's a huge PB, 134. That's very nice. Oh, hey, 129. We got a sub 90 second kill. That's awesome. What the fuck just happened there? What the heck was that animation, dude? Past 100 KC here now. So far, nothing exciting besides just every kill being stupid amounts of gold. I forgot that this boss is very, very draining. There is a reason most people do not uh, camp it out too hard, but, uh, you know, at least we're making money. Hey, oh, I mean, but hey, still, 
That is a Hydra Tail. It is pretty much worthless. I'm probably just going to Alk it. But it is our first unique from the Alchemical Hydra, which is fantastic. And it's our first step towards finishing this tier. I didn't even notice. We actually PB'd that kill uh, as well. 1 minute 28 seconds is really freaking fast. I have to say, this Tebow is amazing here. I've never, like, actually used a Tebow at Hydra before. <laughs> and it is busted, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? Come on. I mean, dude, that PB is insane. 123. <laughs> it's like 10 kills later. We get a Hydra Tail again. Which is, you know, obviously, the first one itself was not that great. But it was just a collection log slot. Now we just get another one, which actually means absolutely nothing. And is... I might just alk it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, there we go. That is another... Whoa, wait a minute. What? That's a... I didn't even... That's two. In one kill. What the heck? That's insane. We got the Hydra's Eye, which is the first piece of the Brimstone Ring, and the Hydra Head in the same kill. I just thought, oh, yeah, there we go. There's another item. But we just got two items right there. The Hydra's Eye and the Alchemical Hydra Head. Oh my god. Alright, that's freaking sick, man. Uh, the heads are, I believe, 1 in 256. So, awesome. Uh, that's that's great. I don't even know how many hours this took, but wow, this is reminding me that Hydra is a very, very, very slow boss. Did the entire task here with bracelets. Way more XP than this was gained. It's probably close to like 350k, but it caps at this for some weird reason. That being said, we did uh, make a good amount of money doing this. But now it's time to find out if we have to start, unfortunately, just doing task boosting because I'm pretty much out of Slayer points. Well, I knocked out a couple of quick tasks and we are now at the 300 task streak. So that's probably the last big bonus of points I'm going to get, sitting at 543. Once we're out of these, I'm going to have to start doing Slayer Task Boosting, which is going to reset the streak. But at this point, I'm not anywhere near any other big point milestones, so it really doesn't matter. Well, uh, lacking a little variety, but after using almost all of the points that I had just accumulated, we're going to go back to Hydra. I'm hoping to get... I think we need three more items, if I've counted correctly. So if I can get two of those from Hydra, I can either knock out the last one from Sire or from Zora, which would be ideal as well, because I don't need a task to do Zora. Not really sure how I want to go about doing that, but if we can even get one new item here, I'll be happy with that. Yo, there we go. That's another unique. The Hydra's Fang, the second piece. Oh my god, I have like no inventory right now. The Hydra's Fang, the second piece of the Brimstone Ring, and it's another slot in the log. God, that's beautiful. Well, there's 300 KC at the Alchemical Hydra. Uh, it's, it's boring, but, you know, I'm trying not to focus too much on it. I'm really just hoping we can get at least one more unique on this task. That would just set us up. And obviously, if we get two, that's even better, because then we're just done. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 117. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a grand master task, apparently. I can see why. 117 is insanely fast, dude. Wow. Okay, I'm very happy with that. All right, there is our second Hydra task done. 215 more and 430 total KC. So I'm going to gather up these bones and then we'll figure out what our plan of attack is. All right, first things first, I have 15 brimstone keys. So I'm going to just rip this chest open real quick and uh, let you know if we get anything. All right, pretty good. Uh, we had a dragon fruit tree seed drop in there. So an extra two mil from those keys. I'm pretty happy with that. I think what the game plan is now, though, is I'm going to try to get a Sire task, and I'm not going to do that from Konar. And the reason that I want to get a Sire task is because since we're so close to the end of the tier, to those of you guys that don't remember, I'm actually like 530 Sire KC right now, and we've only had two Unsireds, so... Nice! I actually got one without having to do any task boosting. We are pretty much out of points. But yeah, since we've only had two Unsireds, we are deserving a 5 because it's a 1 in 100 drop rate, and we're still missing pretty much everything from there. Getting a bludgeon piece is one of the most common things you can get, and the dagger is really not that far behind. So, 
I'm hoping this is it. This task might be where we finish this tier, and I really hope that it is, man. Thanks to the overwhelmingly large amount of money you make from the Alchemical Hydra, I was able to upgrade my Sire setup pretty significantly. We obviously still have the max strength gear, but I've also picked up a Sang Staff, a Tormented Bracelet, and an Imbued Heart. I did have to sell off some other stuff to get it, but I think this will make Sire a lot more smooth, since if I use the Sang Staff on the respiratory systems, I shouldn't have to Blood Barrage on the final phase. 600 KC, 600 Pure Essence, which is not even worth picking up. I still haven't gotten another Unsired here, so all the good luck we've had in this tier has kind of culminated to being really bad here, but I'm really hoping that turns around. We are four Unsireds short of what we should have, so... Yes! Oh my god! Finally! <laughs> 682 KC, we finally get another unsired oh my god i was getting panicky that i wouldn't even get a single one on this task all right i'm just gonna walk over there turn it in really we better get something new from this if i don't get anything from this unsired i'm gonna be like genuinely very very upset because so far we've only had two this is our third and to those who don't remember we got a whip and an abyssal head both of which we then obtained from regular abbey demons so just please, something new. Thank God. Thank God we got something new. One piece of the bludgeon, which at this point I have no plans on completing. It's just we need one more slot. One more collection log slot and then we can move on. Oh God. Well, 700 KC. I am really, really hoping to get another unsired before we finish this task off in 37, but I guess now we kind of have the opportunity, if I want to, to go back to Zolora to try and get that uncut onyx to finish off the last log slot, which doesn't require a slayer task, but technically speaking would probably take more hours to get. Well, that is the entire task done at Abyssal Sire once again, so unless I get freakishly lucky, nope, no unsired. Alright, so we are at 27 out of 28 slots, and like I mentioned before, my easiest option here is Zolora. But I would really like to finish this out at an area that's technically faster, since 1 in 512 for an Onyx could take a decent amount of time at Zora. But I guess we'll see what happens with the rest of these Slayer points first. Hmm. That's an interesting one. 165 Hellhounds. I think I might do it just because we could still get the Pagasian Crystal from this, and this is my literal last possible Slayer task. I have no more reward points. So uh, maybe we try that out in addition to some Zora. Oh, <laughs> I mean, okay, it's nice, I guess. It's an eternal crystal, but, uh, you know, it's not the one we need, so it doesn't mean much. Oh, okay. It's a good, really good task so far. Uh, that's a primordial crystal. I, uh, you know, I'm kind of, these loot beams are kind of growing on me. I don't know if I'll leave them on or not, but kind of growing on me. Um, Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. Not what we're after, but also 20 mil. I mean, that's pretty freaking nice. Just past 1300 Cerberus KC now, which is actually kind of, kind of nuts. Uh, if we take a look here, if I was an Iron Man, I would be much more upset about not having the uh, Pagasian Crystal, but overall, we're still doing very well with drops. It's just this one specific one that we're chasing, which is unfortunate, but hey, at least we're making some money. Oh, hey is not what I'm after, but on KC 633, pulling ourselves a Serpentine Visage. I don't think I had any clip here that was saying why I met Zora, but I just wanted a little bit of a break from Cerberus and needed something pretty chill to do, so Zora is it. Unfortunately, that's the same drop rate as the thing we are actually after, but hey, I'll take it. Part of my mouse being in a terribly weird position here, I don't know why it's doing that. But on KC 704, we pick ourselves up the last item from Zolra, and that is the Uncut Onyx. I was continuing my relaxation period by doing Zolra while sitting on the couch on my laptop because Zolra is very chill with Tebow. And to my surprise, we actually got the last item we needed. Just to double check that I have 28 slots here. So Abyssal Sire, we have four. From Alchemical Hydra, we have six. From Cerberus, this is really going to test my ability to know the alphabet here. We have six thermonuclear smoke devil. We have three there. 
And that only leaves us with Kraken, which we have three, and Zolora, which we just got six. Which, by the way, this is pretty decent Zolora luck. I'm just throwing that out there. That's pretty nice. So with 28 out of 28 items, that means we are now officially done with the Elite tier, which just leaves one Capstone Challenge. And this is going to be the last Capstone Challenge. I'll explain what I mean a little bit more in the next video. Peace out, everybody, and have a fantastic rest of your day.